Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I didn't post last week. I was very busy with work, which was very exciting and fun. Um, but yeah, it meant that I didn't have time to film a video, but I wanted to make sure that I got in another Easter video before the big day. So I went to a few different supermarkets and bought some more Easter food that I have never tried before. It was a little bit harder this time actually. I think just where it's nearly Easter, some of the places had sold out of quite a lot of their Easter stuff. But I found quite a few bits, so let's get started. This is from Tesco Co-op and M&S. Uh, what should we start with? Shall we do Tesco first? Let's do Tesco first. Move everything else out of the way. The little Tesco near me, it actually didn't have that good of a selection. Um, but here we go. So what should we start with? I'm quite intrigued to try these. So these are the Dime Dairy Milk Dime little mini eggs. Uh, I never really have the dime chocolate actually. What is it? Oh, crunchy almond caramel pieces. Okay. My mouth is watering, I'm so hungry. This happens every video. Okay, they're a bit bigger than I thought. I thought they'd be more like, I always think with stuff like this, it'll be the size of mini eggs. And I'm always wrong. Hmm. Ooh, that's yummy. That is really tasty. I wonder why I never have this chocolate normally. I'm gonna have another one. Yeah, oh, I love dairy milk chocolate. It's nice, it's got like a really good crunch to it. Hold on, I'm gonna try and show you the inside. Okay, you literally can't see anything. It's like covered, it's concealed by a layer of dairy milk chocolate. I mean, it's mainly like dairy milk that you're getting through, um, but then it's just got that little crunch of the dime bar in it. That is so good. Okay, I'm not gonna have another one. Oh wait, how many were there? So I've had two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's about seven or eight in there, which isn't too bad. Yum, delicious. I think they were like a pound. I'm literally just sitting here trying to work out where I got these from. I think I got them in co-op, but I think I might have seen them in Tesco as well. They were delicious. Good start, guys, good start. Okay, let's try Galaxy Enchanted Eggs. I have seen these before and I do love Galaxy, so I don't know why I've never bought them. So Galaxy chocolate with crunchy caramel rolled in rose gold. Okay, why are they rolling it in rose gold? So these are also from, these are from Tesco. Oh, I started with a co-op thing. What am I doing guys? They're cute. That looks really nice actually. That looks really nice. I'm not blown away. I'm a little bit disappointed actually. God, there's so many in here. Wow, let me show you, I don't know if you can see. There's actually quite a lot in there. They look really nice. I love Galaxy so much, but this doesn't really have that like smooth, delicious Galaxy taste. You're actually just kind of getting the um, crunchy stuff that's in there. Is it crunchy caramel? Yeah, it's all right but I expected more. I don't know, it's just lacking in like that proper galaxy taste. Personally, I'd literally rather just buy a bar of galaxy. Um, but they look nice, like the whole rose gold thing. Yeah, cool. I'm definitely not blown away. Okay, next, shall we? Actually, I really wanted to try this. So, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I love the Maltese bunny. And I've actually tried a few variations of those bunnies in the past couple of weeks. Um, but I haven't tried this Kit Kat one. So rich chocolatey center with crunchy wafer pieces. So literally just a Kit Kat, but quite cute. I kind of prefer the Maltese bunny, I think, but let me try it. Don't know, I'm not, I'm not loving it. That's really weird because I guess I don't get Kit Kats that often. Like does anyone actually just buy a Kit Kat on its own randomly? There's something about it that I'm just not really liking. I guess like, do you know what it is? I don't know if you can see. There's actually like not much wafer at all. It is more chocolate, but for some reason, I'm not really liking this chocolate so much. This is Nestle, isn't it? I wouldn't buy this again. I would 100% buy the Maltese Bunny over that. Moving on swiftly. 
Let's try the Oreo egg. Um, I don't know why I've never had this before because I really like Oreo. Also, I keep looking outside because I've got new neighbours that have moved in like bang opposite and basically they've got balcony that's facing me right now. And it's a very nice day outside so I'm just aware that they might come on their balcony and just see me sat here with a camera and a load of chocolate. That's fine. Anyway, Oreo, egg. Now, my favourite, obviously, obviously is the cream egg. So I don't know if anything can beat it, but I do like Oreo, so we'll give it a go. Um, it's just your standard cream egg sort of vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It took me so long to just, just to chew that. That is nice. Again, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not blown away. Oh. It's literally just a chocolate shell with a load of Oreo filling. It's nice, it is nice, but I feel like if I'm gonna look at those sort of eggs, I'd always go for a cream egg. This is good, but it's not made me go, oh, I need to get it again, you know? I think I'd easily walk past it in a shop. Look, if you're a fan of Oreos, then yeah, you'll, you'll probably quite like this. I am looking forward to these though. So these are Aero peppermint mini eggs. I do like an Aero, although I never actually buy Aeros, but when I have one, I always enjoy it. Oh, they're cute. Oh, that is a powerful smell of mint. It smells like chewing gum. Okay. Mmm. Oh, they're nice. Again, there's quite a lot of them in here. Ooh, my camera's about to die. Okay, so my camera died. You know, this just isn't my day, guys. This isn't my day. Anyway, where were we? Aero peppermint little mini eggs. Um, yeah, there are loads in here. God, there are so many. That's actually really good. These were a pound as well. Um, oh, I mean, it's really nice. I like this. Mm. I had a couple whilst I was changing my battery as well. They're really light. You've got the bubbly center of the Aero. Hold on, let me show you inside. Yeah, you're getting a nice, that nice minty taste. It's just like really easy to eat. They're really Moorish. I would get these ones again, for sure. Shall we do? Mm -mm -mm. I searched for these everywhere. Um, and they didn't have them. I saw them in Tesco a few weeks ago. I think when I did the first Easter video, so maybe two weeks ago, and they didn't have them. Um, but I found them in co-op. I just, I just love mini eggs. But if, again, if you watch the first Easter video, I'll put it in the description box below, by the way, in case you haven't seen it. But I tried the um, cream egg cakes and they were very disappointing. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I tried these. Although these were £2.50 in co-op. I feel like they were cheaper in Tesco, maybe. They're cute, although I know this is really petty, but it annoys me that only one of them has a yellow egg. I don't know if you can see because the sun is making it all just really glare. But there's only one with yellow. And that just, that just bothers me, you know? Yeah, they're quite cute. Quite small, actually. That is what it looks like. Okay, what's actually, hold on. So they're chocolate cakes, yeah, yeah, but what's in them? Mini egg nest cakes, chocolate flavored sponge with a vanilla flavored topping, covered in milk chocolate and decorated with, okay. What is that? I'll show you the inside. Can you see like the white stuff on the top? That's meant to be a layer of vanilla, I think. It's literally just a chocolate cake, I mean, my neighbours here. Oh my god, my neighbours. Literally opposite, like I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm hiding. I don't know what to do. There's just something that feels really awkward about someone watching you film yourself eating. Do you know what I mean? I might subtly move the table back. Right, back to Cream egg, not cream egg cake. He's thrown me, he's thrown me. I don't know his name, we're gonna call him Derek. Back to the mini egg cake. I mean, 
It's basically just a chocolate little cake. It's got some vanilla on top, but it's just so basic. I'm gonna try it with the mini egg. Mm. It tastes a bit like a mini roll. That's a little bit what it reminds me of. I don't recommend these at all. Anyway, moving on. Yes, so there were loads of like this sort of stuff in co-op. They actually had a really good selection of this stuff. Um, Derek has thrown me, guys. <laughs> ah, so these are McVitie's Digestives Five Hot Cross Bun Flavour Slices. Um, I would never usually buy a hot cross bun flavoured thing. But, you know, Easter vibes. I thought the, actually, I thought like the packaging was cute with the bunnies on and stuff. Oh, oh, these are so cute. Wow, they smell quite strong. Oh, so they're like individually wrapped. I wasn't expecting that. So there are two, four, five in there, including the one I've got in my hand. Hot cross bun flavour slice. I don't even know what to expect. Hot cross bun flavour digestives. Oh. Oh, so it's a digestive biscuit. Well, that makes sense. Topped with milk chocolate. Okay. Well, oh, basic enough. Oh. Fascinating. This is like a, oh, wow, that smells so strong. Wow, okay. That smells quite like spicy. It's got like a good hot cross bun smell to it. Mmm. So that is what it looks like. Quite like a decent little size, actually. Not too big, but it's not tiny. Right. Oh. Oh, I do not like that at all. Oh, I don't know. There's just something in that that's just not very nice. It's just quite a strong hot cross bun flavour. But then with a bit of chocolate on top. It's just not very nice, guys. Just what they've put in it to get that hot cross bun flavour is not nice and those combinations are not working at all. So yeah, these are, oh no, yeah. Ugh. Let's do these. I love Mr. Kipling. Angel slices are one of my favourite things ever. If you've never had a Mr. Kipling angel slice, oh my God, where have you been? They are magnificent. Um, but I do like the Mr. Kipling, the Viennese Whirls, which are kind of like this, but these are lemon ones. Okay, they're cute. This is why I like Mr. Kipling. They're just such cute little cakes. Can you see? So what else is in that? Because I can see two different colors of yellow. Shortcake Whirls with a lemon flavor filling and lemon flavored sauce. Okay, that would explain the two different shades of yellow. Right, I don't know how to eat this nicely. He's back outside. He's actually back outside. I wonder if he can hear me. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna eat. One of the lemon flavors I'm not so keen on. Just trying to work out which one it is. The lighter yellow color that tastes really nice. I think the lemon sauce on the other side, that is a bit too lemony for me, a bit too strong, but it's quite nice. The biscuit's really nice. Again, if you've had like the, I'm sure they're called Viennese Whirls, Viennese Whirls, I think. If you've had them before in, from Mr. Kipling, it's obviously the same biscuit, it's just got lemon inside instead. Um, but yeah, the biscuit's really nice. It's quite light, crunchy, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not crazy, I'm not mad on the lemon filling. Okay, moving on to the m and stuff. So, again, if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I tried these in the orange chocolate flavour, and I did not like them. My mum really liked them, actually. But yeah, I just wasn't mad on them. So I thought I'd try the normal milk chocolate flavour. Chicky chocky speckled eggs. Okay. That's what they look like, quite a good size. Oh, this is nice. It's got a nice crunch, the shell's really nice and crunchy. And then it's just kind of standard milk chocolate inside. But yeah, if you've had M&S own brand chocolate before, it's basically that, but it's good. That's nice. I'm gonna have one more. Yeah, these are really nice. I'm really glad I got them actually. Definitely recommend these. These are one of the nicer things actually that I've had today. The last thing today are these 
are these M&S for blueberry hot cross buns. Mm, mm, mm. I love blueberries. I love blueberry muffins so much. I haven't had a blueberry muffin in ages. Um, that's probably why I looked at these and fancied them. Mm, but that's what it looks like. Good size. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm gonna put this under the grill. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I have my, oh, don't want it to fall off the plate, hot cross bun. Mm, it smells so good. So, this is what it looks like with some butter on, obviously. That's the other side. I can't tell you how delicious this smells. Mmm, it's good, it's really nice. The blueberry is like quite subtle. It's not too overpowering, but it's really good. Yeah, I recommend this for sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, um, what would be my favorite thing? You know, I actually really enjoy this hot cross bun, but if I'm looking at the chocolates, I would probably say the Dairy Milk Dime. These or the Aero are probably my favorite. Actually, the M&S eggs were good as well. Hmm. No, if we're going for one, we'll go for these. Least favorite, goes without saying, was the hot cross bun digestive thing. Yeah, that was not, not good at all. But also the mini egg cakes were quite disappointing. There's some nice stuff here though, so obviously I'm gonna spend the rest of the week just eating through it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to my channel. Um, and leave the comments below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see and um, what else I should try. And I hope you all have a lovely Easter.